Okay, this is segment two for uh, September 30th. I have just been hanging out here on a hill. I was up there. This is my usual area with the nests and everything is up there in that deep forest up there. And I just worked my way down to where I believe that big guy was here where he crosses. I found some more animal kill up in here. But uh, I've just been hanging out um, along the road just right above it people been driving by and walk by and don't even see me standing on this rock I've just been monitoring the uh, other side of the canyon over here just been monitoring it for a good hour there's been no hikers out this morning and but see over here now see the reason this is such prime good Sasquatch territory and uh, there's another X marking over here Let's see if I can get it See, so they have another nest, something going on over there. Now, I haven't even been over there. I haven't even been on that side. It is really hard to get over there. I have to walk several miles up, cross an open prairie to get back on that side and come back around. So I've just been kind of, you know, just standing here. This is where the area where I believe he crossed, where I have that still of that huge guy that was following me. I think he came up, crossed, came up here. He follows the game trails. It's pretty common, but as you can see, there's just the way that the caves are structured in 20 miles of canyon. They could be anywhere, anywhere in here and put a rock or debris or anything in front of a cave and uh, you're never gonna, you're never gonna catch them. So it's it's pointless for me to try and catch them um there's just so much terrain to cover that it's just uh it's a hit and miss thing out here you know hopefully they're crossing my path when i'm out marching around but this is something we're going to work on on the fall is we're going to find you know an easier way maybe to get across we have all that to work over there um and it's very similar it's you know it's a canyon so once you get up the hill here, this side's more heavily forested, uh, but as you know, as you can see, um, they could just be anywhere along there. So I've just been kind of hanging out here and hoping he'd come walking across from up down there or she and come up here, but it's been pretty quiet. You know, they sleep in the day. I'm gonna get so I'm thinking maybe we'll cross the road here I gotta slide down this hill way to cross down here. I want to make my way down to the to the water. There's just so much forest here. It's just you know a lot of terrain to explore and cover. But <clears throat> that's my intention is just to cover as much as possible. And map it all out in my head so that, you know, I can say in the end nobody knows this place like me. Oh, so we've crossed the road and we're going to head down this way.
really hot today. Soil soil's already dry again compared to last week, so I wasn't counting on finding prints, but uh, check this out. Just an old rotted tree that's fallen over, but I haven't seen a hiker all day, so that's what I'm kind of happy about. I knew that once it got a little cooler, uh, once we moved into fall, the people wouldn't be here as much. And uh, that's really what I was hoping for. Whoa. I like having a huge open Wow, look at this. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh wow, look. Never have seen this before, never have recorded it. Okay, I just crossed the road, remember. Look at that tree break there too, huge. And this huge design here. Again, not that number four, but kind of similar. One, two, three, four, an arched five. Oh. A couple little deer tracks and a bigger track here. Whoa, what do we got here? Oh, little mushrooms. I thought those were little eggs, bird eggs. Okay. So. If this is ever a way to block something and say, don't come here. Look at the trail. The trail is just down here. The road is up there I just came from. I saw this from a distance. Wow. Wow. Look at this. So, let's take a look around. See, I knew he was huge, or that, or she. That, that one that crossed the road was right up here. This is where it was coming from, obviously. Big, big, strong Sasquatch. Right off the trail in the road, too. Totally unafraid. Of course, you know, like at night, there's nothing out here, so. Oh, yes. This is them, not human activity. Oh, wow. How cool. So, I'm on the other side of it now. Let's see what, uh, let's see what's over here. We have this huge. Let's see, you can hear somebody on the road up there with a the trailer. There they go. But right off the road. There's a horse trailer. So there's one of the ranchers that live in the area. So see, he was blocking. Look at that, how high that tree break is. To complete this. And that tree just to complete this huge star. Let's see you climb up here. Well, nothing here, but see he's marking it along. Boom! Marks it uh, as he's coming up from the the water. Oh, so very interesting. Pretty cool. <clears throat> this 
So check this out. See, that this stick, it's not part of this pine tree, but it's just been laid there, brought up, and just laid here. I can just grab it. And I have a huge walking stick, see? Right there again. Wow, look at that. Let's get underneath it and see if there's a print or anything. It's been old. It's It's been here a while. So any print won't be here, but... Uh, Pretty interesting. I'll walk right underneath it. Pretty cool. Okay, so marking where they cross is uh it's obviously a common thing there. Those logs were too big for a human to have done that, so it's not human. Alright, let me find an easy way down here. So see, whoom, right across the way to the other side. Here is one of the the main, the main trails. So see, I can come out at night. Nothing's here. Take a look around. Go right down to the water. See, I need to get along all along in there, all those caves. So see, this is the trail that I'm going to be snow showing during the winter when it's all full of snow in here. They don't close it. There's no way to close it. So you can come in here. And... But you can see they could just be anywhere. Too. So that's going to be my goal, is before I leave this earth, I'm going to have this entire park mapped mentally. 
it's going to be in my brain. That's a lot of information to take in. See, I like to look here along the hill, see if I can find prints where they came down at night. But they have a set route. I don't think they... They don't choose the path of least resistance, especially at night, because it's pitch black out here at night. So, you know, if I was walking out here at night, it's like any forest, you know, it's pitch black. They could be standing right there. And you'd walk right by them if you didn't flash the light on them. Partly because you're using the flashlights, you don't trip over these rocks and fall and bust your head. See, I haven't run across a single hiker today. This is great. It's a nice day too. Toad lizard. Hey, guy. Does he think I'm going to catch you? Pretty cool. Just a little tiny dinosaur. <clears throat> Nice day and not a single soul around. I love it. So you can hear the river running under the boulder field here in the rocks.
show you. What a place to come at night. The squatches love it. You just come down off that side, come down here. They could just bathe in there. Let's get up on this rock here. Ah. Nice little pond you just lay up in. But see, behind any rock, they can just hide. They could be sitting there right now on the other side, just waiting in the pool. I'd never see them. Cuts through all that brush and wheat reeds in there. Really cool. All right, well, I guess we're going to kill it for uh, this segment. So that's going to be it for the 30th of September. Found some great stuff, new uh, symbols, uh, structures, and so forth. But uh, we'll have to go back and check the stills. It didn't really have any activity today. It's a really hot day, so didn't get what I was hoping to get. But you never know. It could have been watched. We'll find out, I guess. That'll be it for this segment.